um, NPR does have a sound. Part of it is the microphones they use, and our microphones are similar to theirs, so it, it does give a deeper voice and a nice sound timber uh, similar to public radio. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say that many of our volunteers find that they sound pretty good <laughs> when they come into our studios. There's a huge cringe curve that when it comes yeah, to Oh, yes. The first time you voice. hear it, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, people generally, if... Like, oh, I can yeah. guarantee you. Yeah. Cringe yeah. curve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the next one. Well, <laughs> the bones in your head literally change how you hear yourself. They right. vibrate and they change how you hear yourself. So. It's a very strange thing. People generally don't like listening to themselves for about the first four or five podcasts, especially if they edit them themselves. And personal experience, it's painful. Wow. But um, but we do have a volunteer who is a professional cringer. voice coach, and, yeah. and she oh. offers training to our volunteers. Is it all right if I so. turn it off? Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah.